Steph, Doug Snarski and his girlfriend got quite a wake up call on Sunday morning, and it's one they'll never forget. We woke up and heard his voice. Uh, it was, uh, it wasn't, uh, it was an eye-opening experience when somebody's in your house that's not supposed to be there. His girlfriend immediately recognized the voice. It was her ex-boyfriend. The two broke up a while back, but he had sent both Snarsky and his girlfriend threatening text messages. And he told her one time that uh, if I can't have you, nobody can. So at 12.30 in the morning, the ex-boyfriend walked into Snarsky's house, his hands already full. One shotgun in one hand and a pistol in the other. This was no robbery. He came in to do some damage. So he wasn't planning on leaving until everybody was dead. The ex-boyfriend yelled at Snarsky, trying to find out where he was. I opened my bedroom door, turned on the light, took one look at him, showed him I had a handgun, but that didn't even slow him down. So, and he started shooting off rounds, and his mouth was going. And, and uh, I just uh, waited for the opportunity to, to uh, shoot my best shot. Snarsky waited until the shooter was at the top of the stairs and fired. And then all of the shooting stopped. Never thought in a lifetime that should ever happen to me. In fact, Snarsky bought that gun a year ago. If I didn't have that, uh, I wouldn't be here. And he never fired a shot with that gun until that night. I said, hoping to God I never had to use it, but there's either him or me. The medical examiner did just release the name of that ex-boyfriend. He is 43-year-old Sean Parsons, and he died of two gunshot wounds. Now, both Snarsky and his girlfriend are perfectly safe tonight.